Luke Hapford. I'm joined by Tim Spears, our Wolves correspondent here at the Expressing Star. Tim, 12 million quid for Leander Dendonka. Where is he? No one's seen him. Yeah, where is he? Good question. Um, as someone just said in the office, actually, that um, if you said to a Wolves fan in the mid 80s when they were um, going into liquidation and nearly ceased to exist, that they could spend 12 million pounds <laughs> on a Belgium international and for him to get nowhere near a Premier League squad yet. Um, they'd have laughed, obviously, or not believed you, because um, it is strange. I mean, him and Trey Ulrey, they, they spent £30 million on them combined, mm. and, and neither of them have made a league start yet, and neither of them are injured. So it's um, it's a luxury to have, but of course, um, Wolves have been playing so well. Yep. Ninth in the table, only lost two matches, uh, unchanged team every single week. So they haven't they haven't needed um, their Don Croix, Trey Ulrey. Um, in their starting lineup, or perhaps they have, and they'd be even higher on the table. Yeah. But anyway, um, Dendonka in particular, yeah, it is a strange one. Um, I think he returned back uh, late from the World Cup, yeah, uh, and perhaps not fit. Um, Belgium, of course, got to the um, semi-finals, third place playoff, etc. Mm -hmm. So he uh, he had three weeks off, I think, after that, and then returned as the season was starting. As he joined as well, of course, didn't yeah. have a pre-season with Anderlecht, so. It's going to take him a little while to get used to the pace of English football, yeah. and to throw him into the defence would be a risky move, mm. um, and not one that Wolves have needed to make because they've been so good defensively. Um, the question I can't really answer is why he hasn't been on the bench, yeah. because that um, doesn't make as much sense really. I mean, Courtney Hall's fantastic for him to be involved. He's been involved on the bench every single game. He hasn't come on yet, but um, but he's been involved, and that's great for him. And I guess maybe they're thinking that if there was an early substitution due to an injury, say Ryan Bennett picks up a knock after five minutes, yeah. Courtney Hawes would be perhaps better equipped to be dropped straight into that defence because he's he's used to the the, type, the tempo and the physicality of English football. Mm. I think with Dendonka um, coming from, the, you can't underestimate the um, low standard of the bells in top flight. It's, it's probably the, yeah. the nicest way of summing it up. So maybe he's just taking a, just a little bit of time to get used to it. Yeah, so we have seen him feature in the cup competition, yeah. Carabao Cup. When will we see him in a Premier League squad? Because it's, it's getting on a little bit now. And now, yeah, as you said, Wolves have played well, but they're coming off, obviously, the defeat to Watford. Yeah. Could, could this be a chance for him? I mean, you mentioned the Carabao Cup. Um, two games, two clean sheets for Wolves in those games. He played on the right side of the defensive three in those matches. He can also play the Conor Cody role. So I'm told, and can also play defensive midfield. So yeah. he's a bit of a you know, versatile player. And in the Carabao Cup games, I, th I thought he did he did okay. Um, Sheffield Wednesday away, he wasn't really tested very much, but looked fine, looked looked composed and assured on the ball. Um, and that was the case against Leicester at home as well in the, in the last round where they got knocked out of penalties. So certainly saw no mistakes from him. He, he comes across as, as quite elegant. He's tall. He's a, good, good on the ball. Didn't look slow in particular. So. Um, has the has has plenty of good attributes. Um, so, so as for when they're going to bring him in, it's very difficult to tell with Nuno. You know, I, I, I'd have put money on him changing changing his team lineup by now, even though Wolves have been playing well. Yeah. Um, whether he'll change it for not for Brighton, you know, we'll see. I would have thought this is as good a chance of any of him changing it up after such a disappointing defeat and with a few um, a few players who could maybe be do with um, freshening up, perhaps. Yeah. So. Um, I think we'll see him involved sooner rather than later. I don't think he's going to be one of those players that will just never play, like uh, Isaac Okoronkwo or Stephen Moyakolo. People will remember these guys just never, never made it, and they were flop signings. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't see that happening with Dendonka. It, it comes from the Belgium squad. He's, to, to be good enough to get to the World Cup in the Belgium squad, you've got to have something about you. So yeah. I think it's just a case of getting used to Nuno's system, his preferred style of play. Like I said, the pace, the tempo, the physicality is very, all very, very different to the Belgian league. So after a few weeks of intensive training, he, sh he should be there and thereabouts by now. Yeah. So when will we see Wolves' £12 million man? We do not know just yet. We could see him in the Premier League sooner rather than later, though. For all the latest on him and Wolves, make sure you stay with us at expressandstar.com.